Hi, welcome to excellab.org. We'll see balance sheet blog, and here you can see the financial statement, the income statement, and the balance sheet. Now this is the projection figures, and these are taken from the management. So based on the historical data and discussion with the management, so we arrived at these figures. Now first we will complete the fundamentals. So gross profit, we know it's revenue minus your COGS same the EBIG which is your gross profit minus your indirect expenses and here you can see the SF and NTF plug you can see here so uh, we will see shortly what it is uh, just for the time being we will ignore it now next here the interest expense on debt one which is at 11 percent so debt one we will get from balance sheet so here we have debt one which is 400 so we can write equal to 400 and multiply with 11 percent now the pbt which is ebit minus the interest expense so so this is profit before taxes now taxes it is at 33 percent so again you multiply with with 33 percent and this is your taxes amount and profit after tax is your pbt minus your taxes so we got it profit after taxes now this profit after taxes we are assuming that it is retained by the company so uh, we put the figure in balance sheet so this is your retain earning profit after taxes so this is your cell b21 so uh, we go to balance sheet and here we can give a reference it's b21 right so we got it here this these are the retain earning uh, we come to balance sheet and here the total assets so put the function sum and give the range Now you please ignore SF now. First complete the basic one. Come to liability. So again put some function and give the range. And shareholder equity is your share capital plus retain earning, which we have taken from the income statement, this one. Now total liabilities plus shareholder equity, it's your liabilities plus your shareholder equity fund. So we got it. Now we can see, you know, in the balance sheet total assets is 1000 and total liabilities plus shareholder equity is 1094. So we can see the difference of approximately 94,000, 94,000, all the figures are in thousand. So we can see the difference and what we do now, uh, we put the formula here again here I've written total assets without SF I'm not counting SF or NTF uh, we will use in you know later on this SF and NTF so it's without SF so again put formula equal to sum sum of all the assets sum of all the assets so same figure 1000 we got it here please don't give you know the reference directly here like this you know equal to 1000 don't give like this because uh, we'll see why 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 will not give like this so we better give you know the sum only and here for ntf that is the liability equal to plus the total of not total sorry shoulder equity and the difference is your liabilities minus assets so we got it it's 94.22 now it should be similar right the total assets and total liabilities should be equal so 
we know the assets are less than liabilities by 94,000 so we required some fund here which we call it surplus fund SF fund you know surplus fund so what we will do here first we will do the calculation equal to and we use a function called max which is the maximum of, of value and the maximum of the difference or zero and enter now this is the SF plug calculation so which is 94.22 and uh, we give the reference here which is equal to the calculation part now we got it 94.22 and the total assets now we add this to the total assets so just amend this instead of B26 we take B25 and enter which is 1094 we can see total assets and the total liabilities which is 1094 right now, now it is balancing right okay things are balancing uh, now we go to income statement and here uh, which I told in the beginning that interest income of SF plug now this is the surplus fund right 94.22 it is the surplus fund which is equivalent to cash or let's say marketable security then on that we are getting you know 6% interest so here we multiply with 6% so this is this is the income remember this is income okay so in PBT we will add it so we'll add it now it increase right now it increase by 5.88 it becomes 71.89 and similarly our profit after taxes it also increased earlier it was 44 and now it becomes 48.17 Okay, so things will change now you can see here like total assets earlier it was 1094 and now it becomes 1098 because of this interest income okay now we see that total liabilities it's again matching 1098 1098 and the calculation of SF plug which again it changes to 98.17 so you can see the loop here you know it is a loop and we linked the cells to you know the other cells now remember one thing if you get some you know blue line if this loop is not working so you go to excel button and then you go to excel option you go to formulas and then there you can see you know enable iteration so you enable it for me it is unable so you you, you click on this checkbox enable it and okay this so it will work you can see here right now it is balancing now come to NTF what is NTF now here we have seen one thing SF SF you know this SF is the surplus fund with the firm and suppose uh, you know assets are more than liabilities the other case where assets are more than liabilities so so let's assume you know instead of data 100 we assume it's 200 okay now it becomes 1100 and your total liabilities plus capital it becomes 1094 so we can see the difference of almost 5 okay we go to difference and it is showing minus 5.78 okay and it means we require additional fund we needed fund okay NTF needed to fund we, we required funds and we assume that you know uh, this firm will borrow from outsiders so what we will do in the calculation this difference okay it should be automated right so we use another function called minimum minimum because minimum of minus 5 or 0 so of course it will take minus 5 close the bracket and it it's taking minus 5.78 now remember this is minus 5 and we want in positive okay so you put you put minus minimum and it becomes 5.78 and this NTF plug calculation we give reference here equal to 5.78 
okay and the total liabilities again we will mn instead of 34 we take 33 and now it becomes you know it becomes 1100 and you can see here the total assets also 1100 now things are working right it's doing automatic calculation here this one and giving reference to ntf plug and you know it is adding to the total liabilities and shareholder fund now we go to income statement and here same what we did in sf we do here but this is interest expense because we are borrowing okay so so if we go to ntf and we multiply with 11 percent okay it is it is the expense okay it is the expense which is 0 0.64 and the pbt we will again amend we have not included this so this is expense so minus the expenses okay now it changes now it changes to 65.31 and again your pet reduces it becomes 43.76 okay sf is not there because we have taken ntf it can be either sf or ntf okay so come to ntf it becomes 6.24 and your liabilities and assets are matching right and the difference is 6.24 i mean this are this 6.24 we are giving here you can see the reference right okay so this is the plug calculation path okay so this is how the balance sheet is balanced using you know, SF plug and NTF plug and giving the loop by making the iteration unable.